Hello everybody, I am Sunny Jaferri. Today we're going to take a look at one resort, Bahia Principe Aquamarine in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Trip to Punta Cana is about four and a half hours from Chicago to Punta Cana. You know Punta Cana is not city, it's just tourist destination. Don't forget to subscribe and like. The resort generally, I liked it. There was some exceptions, this huge resort. That's five star uh, resort, it was really nice. Hotel was really good. Inside rooms, they were clean, but not really clean. They had a bug problem. I saw that they were biting and uh, I did not call for any uh, spray or anything. I was afraid they're gonna spray and I'll fall asleep and something will happen. But they had two beds, they had TV, bunch of channels, um, English and Spanish. Also, they had uh, representatives, Amstar representative at uh, in uh, all the resorts they have that if you have traveled with uh, from US, Apple Vacation or Funded Vacation or I don't know who else that's using that. Bahia Principe Aquamarine. Hotel was all right, not really clean, but it was really good. Park was really nice. Food was exceptional. It was good. Two buffets. At night we had that one buffet. In the morning we had at the other buffet which was uh, Las Oyas, the waves, it translates in English. The resort is gigantic, seven resorts in one place. You can get lost really easy on that place. They had cards like golf, golf carts or travel cards in many places. And they will transfer you or transport you anywhere you want. But sometimes you don't know where you at. It was gigantic, absolutely. Parks were good, clean. Restaurants. There were several restaurants. You had. You could make a reservation. You needed to make a reservation, but. You ha they have an app with the uh, Aqua, I mean uh, the Bahia Principe, and you just click from your phone. You can make a reservation anywhere you want. They had Wi-Fi inside and outside and some places, but there was not really strong. If you want stronger Wi-Fi, you need to buy one, which was really expensive. Restaurants when we went, the main course wasn't anything special. It was just plain best basic food, but the buffet was really. They had also buffet with sweets and everything. They were that was really good. This is Las Ollas, uh, that uh, buffet we went to the morning. The people were really friendly, really nice, and treated us really good. And I've always found seat really close to the buffet because I had Wi-Fi in the beach all the time. I, the first or second uh, umbrella or third one, you could have a Wi-Fi, steal it from restaurant. And always in the beach, I had a Wi-Fi. That's why I liked it. You could go anywhere you want. I usually wear Speedos <laughs> for some reason. I didn't see anybody else wearing it, but I did. It was all adult. Uh, re not resort but there was our resort was all adult beach and only us there were some naked ladies really nice ones you know it's nice to watch it's okay I don't mind them umbrellas always plenty nice and clean drinks server that was right there at all time also the beach was nice and the water was really nice and clean you can walk up and down the beach area nice and free and nobody will bother you. This is Las Ollas on the other side view. Lots of weddings right there in front of us. They had all the time organized 
and they did we had fun playing and watching them and clapping for them I will go back to this again since I know to navigate now around the resort there was the beach was the most crowded one if you go the other one they didn't have this many people as here because seven resorts was no were in one place really nice health club I've really enjoyed that I went every night they had all kind of the variety of machines and you can use everything this is the one in the purple is aquamarine and you see the ocean there was quite a bit of walk but what I like they had a three pools if you see the three pools up there and those pools one was the quiet one the second was the drunk one and the third one was the, <coughs> um, the sports they played volleyball and all kind of sports over there they did but but the center one what li what, li what I liked is the foam party so get a drink good music good dance socialize with people and uh, enjoy yourself that was uh, something unusual and new for me I never seen that before I never I heard that I know that but I never been myself the foam party this is really good everybody having a good time enjoying themselves dancing and everything and now this is trip to Saona Island I would not recommend this I did it for one day it cost me extra three hundred dollars and the organizers they took us with the bus it took about three hours travel one way with the bus they took us to one outside uh, store in the middle of nowhere and we bought some things and I paid attention he went and picked up a percentage out of the store for taking the bus over there then we went to the island island was all right just island the beach wasn't not wasn't really nice they had rocks lots of rocks and a, and a water I made a mistake I walked I mean I I uh, swam kind of far away then it wasn't deep enough when I was coming back I was touching rocks I tried to walk I couldn't I tried to swim I couldn't there was a shallow water so I made a mistake for that and they were transporting all the food from the boat the resort the boat uh, island and you can see his donkey over there that's the only person donkey uh, that stayed in that island everybody left it was empty it was really small the island was all right but there uh, wasn't anything special to waste all your day money extra money and just go do it for nothing poverty really bad in Punta Cana as you can see the houses are covered with uh, metal sheets and that was basically really poverty those people are poor the people that work in construction you can see the bus is kind of run down that's how they travel to back and forth I am Sunny Jaferi don't forget to subscribe and like I will try to make one or two videos per week and that's gonna be a different themes um, travel food exercise diet health all my experience I will share with you thank you very much thanks for watching and we'll see you next video when I make have a good day thanks